two, one. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Season 3 Champ Ladder Semi-Finals. We have Woohoo Boys Necro against Holder's Woodies. Joining me is the infamous Blood Bowl Badman, Lupec22. Hello, Mr. Fashbinder. How are we? Spectacular. From the necromantic perspective, they seem to be receiving. Yeah, and it looks like, you know, this is the beauty of the woodies having the tree, isn't it? Like, it really does deny that one block on the LOS and control the center of the field from the start. Because, because of the stand firm and the block on this tree, you can't commit anything to it. Absolutely. And even if you do, let's say that you're a madman and you put your guard fleshy in the center and you blocked away the two linemen and then you brought an extra assist round uh, for the two die. If it's a push, you've got four men trapped on a tree. Exactly. And then you feel like an idiot. Absolutely. Wouldn't even be worth it. If, when I play Claw Mighty Blow Chaos, I, some, I usually give myself one shot at the tree and then I ignore it. I'm like, right. I'm going to bring it down turn one, and then we're going to leave him alone. If he stands up, we give him a lineman, and that's the end of that. I think it's sometimes worth it if you feel like you could do some damage. But definitely not when he's got block, though. Yeah, look, with the man behind it, let's say that the fleshy made a two-die on the number nine lineman and followed. The blodge lineman being behind the tree isn't then protecting the tree from the guard. So if you're a chaos with that sort of ability you would get the extra assist, and so your Chaos Warrior on the right would then get a block on the tree for two dice, and then there'd be a hole for the two die blitz. So you'd have two shots at getting the tree, and I think with a Claw Mighty Blow on the tree with two shots at two dice, that could be worth it. But for a Necro yeah. that's arguably just... Not, not, no, I don't think on 55 percenters though, because though, you know, you're talking coin flips there. When Once he's got block, I think it's a different game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You have to give yourself two, yeah, yeah. Att two attempts. Yeah, One attempt's just... Just going to have you have four men tied up for the drive. So, we were talking pre-match about the, the losses for these current teams. Um, Holber is without his tackle mighty blow strip ball ward answer. Uh, and Woohoo Baby is definitely missing one of his wolves from a death earlier on. And he's got a rookie, he's got a rookie white and a rookie-ish flesh golem from the latter stages of his campaign. So both teams that have taken a bit of damage over the games. Interesting to note, though, that Woohoo Boy only has one tackle on his team, and Holber's team is almost exclusively blodgers, except for the two linemen who are starting on the front. Absolutely, does have two dirty players, induced a wizard and a bribe. So if he is ever lucky enough to power blodger, uh, even if he just tackles down the blodger, we'll have the option to throw down a dirty player foul. And with no bench for Holber, every man that's off the field uh, makes makes things just so much easier. An 11-man Woody team, if its armor holds, wins the game. If it doesn't, and he's down to four elves by turn eight, uh, I think Woody's got it. Yeah. And you know we've seen we've seen Woohoo come through matches he wasn't supposed to win. So he Definitely. took apart. He took apart Colian as a, ma I'd say, a massive underdog team-wise, especially without his wolf and his flesh golem. The Yeti looked to be running rampant, and just somehow he, he scraped the win. Another thing to note: there's non-blodgers on the line with only one tackle. Would you put a blodger on the line? Risk the free nah. mighty blow hit 33% of the time. I, I just <sighs> by not doing it, you got a 75% on those two unskilled linemen with mighty blow. Being down two. No, because they're going they're gonna to get chained sideways until they're brought down and then they're fouled. You're just giving up so much value. You can't rely on that blodge holding. The, the mighty blow doesn't factor into it because they only need to come down to get dirty played, which is the equivalent of a mighty blow hit anyway. As we predicted pre-match, uh, Woohoo Boy dipped into his own bank to pick up the bribe on top of the wizard. So I, I, don't know, I think he's done right here, but with a perfect defense, he might change his strategy here. I've had a lot of people make that mistake against me before. You know, oh, I'm going to put my blodgers on the line because he's got no tackle. And it, it can bite you pretty badly. Yeah, Interesting but I mean, they're, bounce, they're... though. Oh, absolutely. Touch back to the ghoul. He'll be ecstatic. Lands in the field. Look, the ghoul's seven movement with short hands. It still picks it up. 
But with the slower Necro team, the two zombies on the right would have to stay on the screen. Uh, Fleshy yeah. could screen a little. Open Guard Marty Blow could also come across. That's why I, think he's... I think that's why he's setting up this way. I think he's going to get his War Dancer in a position to to capitalize on any mistake. So yeah, what were you saying then about Blodgers on the line? It's, it's the risk he's going to have to take at some point. It will be a Blodger in base contact. And you're right, putting the Blodger in base contact on turn one doesn't achieve much other than an extra man maybe standing, but probably not. And he'll need those men later on for when he does want to exert pressure and take the ball. Wow, potential uh, ratty surf on this blodge lineman number six on a couple of pushes with Tackle Wolf pushing into Zombie, uh, side dodging out, and then uh, and so putting himself could, on the sideline. He, the... he could put the dirty player Zombie in the other place first as yeah, well. Yeah, true, true. Not having sidestep those a bit. I guess he can just protect it. It's quite hard to get into that angle though without taking the tree down, isn't it? Yeah. And so ball safely choice. in the hands of the Shorehands goal after the touchback. Nice safe plays, keeping the ball safe. That's what we like to see. Yeah. Interesting that um, Holber obviously denied the mighty blow hits. Not only did he do that though, he's now got one of the fleshies stuck on a tree. And a block tree, you don't even really want to red dice it. Oh god, no. Nah, it's it's just not not good, because a push isn't a success, is it? Indeed. It'd be just literally a 1 and 9. So what Holber's managed to do here is actually reduce the opening turn to one block and one blitz, which is pretty successful for a wood elf. And the tree is a vital part of that, but also the perfect defense helped minimize the hits. I mean, you know, look at the look at the mighty blow white. He's itching to do something, but his options are punch a blodger for 30%, punch a blodger for 30%, or punch a blodger for 30%, or punch a tree for a 30% chance of getting sculled. So it looks like the wolf is going to spring into action. He's not going to go for the surf that you spotted, Fash. He is going to power Blodger. There is a tackle lineman available to Holber as well, so that's very helpful for dealing with the wall for the goal. Yeah, it will have to be kept safe with that other dance out. He could Ooh, pick up. Not opting, not opting to foul there with him. I mean... Yes. 11 man woodies, you've got a bribe and a dirty player fash. I think you're fouling anything that hits the deck. Bar anything the loner, for sure, absolutely. You know, I think the way Woohoo gets it, I mean, might be planning on doing a dodge with the other zombie. No, not even dodging them out. I think I'd rather dodge him out than just get punched in the face by a tree. Perfect setup for multiple block here with one assist as well. Oh, look, we loved it when we first saw it, the multi-block tree. But he's used it every game on the LOS. No, no he didn't. Has he not? Multiple block? I've... No, I didn't see him use it, did you mean? I saw him use it. And I even said, remember, there's that special sound effect for multiple block. It has its own block. Oh, okay. oh yeah, sound. no, he did use it once in the other game, yeah. It yeah. still should be grabbed. It should be grabbed, yeah, though, absolutely. It? But for trying to rationalise it, it would be... Sometimes, it'll be one fewer man, or one less man that needs to... make a block, and it's one more man that can... who's already standing there, like this dodge lineman on the left-hand side of the tree, that is already assisting, gets blocked free, it's one less dodge, and it's one more man that can go around and do something. And I guess that could be the rationale for multi-block. You should never take it. I don't think you should do it. Grab is a, a better choice, I think. But if we don't even, after, even it. after, you might even take guard before Moe block. Yeah, true. The, the guard will protect your other two men on the LOS when they're adjacent to the tree. 
Sure, uh, get forced to your opponent, then put a guard or an extra assist around the outside. Extra man then tied up around the drew. Multi block sounds. Well then. Well then. Whew. What a cracking opening block for Holba. Injury, no regen on one of the dirty players. Multi block doing work here. That was that was a 10-12 as well. He could have <laughs> oh. hit the fleshy first. He would have cast it. Devastating start. He's going to run the tackler in. Trapped. Um, yeah. It's tempting to not dodge out because you've got two tackle zones there, but this is his only tackler. I don't think he wants to expose his only tackler to a block here. Well, he's arguably up two men for the next turn. He could even think about just going all mans. Uh, would be one short. Dodge Lyman should have probably still up and marked the zombie then. But going all mans here would not only deny the wolf tackle blitz. Um, and he couldn't quite go all mans. The guard man would always be free. But it could be a lot of pressure. And he look he's decided to. If you're stuck in yeah. base contact and you're up two men for the drive. Oh, well, for at least next turn. Uh... Super hard to deal with for a low tackle necro. Like the blitz we know Holb is not block. afraid of the all man's play either. Yeah, against these low tackle teams for sure. Like Ducky with the single tackle last round. He's going half mans, it seems. Yeah, not a fan of the half mans. The little demon monkey. The, the the reason you either go full mans or no mans is full mans makes it hard for him to block you down when you're basing him, as well as keeping the ball safe. When you go half mans, he can make the single blitz to to clear any threat on the ball, make the ball safe, and then use and then the remaining men to else. go on. Yeah. Yeah. Full turn time used for Holber there for his opening turn. So we got. Four of the necros based. Pretty easy for him to just blitz away the kicker though and, and hold his position. Absolutely, you could take a couple of stabs at this uh, tackle lineman too. With the uh, guard assist. And it is only turn two, so he's not really too concerned about getting down the field. The screen nah, intimidating enough. You just speed on a necro team. There's no rush into the other's half, is there? Yeah. Keep the ball safe. Take these three blocks that you've been generously given. <laughs> Taking his time, woohoo here. Plotting his turn. Can't easily dodge his wolf away, so I think he needs to do something there because of the tackle. Been quite interesting in the playoff format, obviously seeing how different rerolls are handled in the first half compared to the second half. Yeah, definitely. I think there is an advantage in receiving first in the overtime format. Wow. Okay. Gonna take his blocks here. That doesn't really leave him with a lot to cover the ball here, though, because this uh, these zombies are all marked. Yeah, against we're gonna, we're, we're gonna see a we're gonna see a reroll commitment here to the wolf, I think, because he's gonna have to dodge the wolf out because there's you know this zombie on the bottom right easily gets blocked down with an assist. Yeah, I don't know how he's keeping this safe. I thought the uh, the mighty blow blitz might be on the kick lineman and then rotates up to assist the wolf. Well, that's yeah. That would have been my play to free the zombie up. 
I think he got quite greedy going for these blocks up ahead. I can see why he wanted to use his mighty blow to hit a guy who didn't have any defensive skills. Yeah. Give himself the best chance of knocking him down. Wood Elf armor so far, by the way, been pretty hefty. Especially when you think that the tree did two armor breaks in two blocks. Yep, and the pressure from that tree doing two armor breaks in two blocks with mighty blow, I mean, the benefit to multiple block, uh, the extra two mighty blow blocks. Uh, did create this extra two-man deficit just for this turn. One man for the drive. The Mighty Blow then from Holba, uh, from Woohoo onto the unskilled lineman, looking to equalize that man deficit for the drive. You know, you can see the rationale behind this. But I just yeah, he, he needs to get back in it that way, but he can't give Holba a shot on the ball because he will take it. And first half, he will go, wow. It's the one dice with the zombie. It's pretty... Pretty rowdy opening play. Takes the one dice with the wolf. Oh, gets no. the hit. Gets the injury. <laughs> oh boy. MNG. Neptune, the only tackler only in tackle. play. And you have That's to assume huge. you're up against the ring table thud. Even Thud's uh blitzes have a bunch of Oh, he takes the 50-50 Apo spin. And he hits a winner yes, flash. You'd want to with eleven men. So just like that, Armor 7 does Armor 7 stuff. Punish for Basin. And it's now two mans ahead. Whoa! It was it was half mans. If half he... mans allowed that to happen. Yeah, but he, he don't think he opened with a one dice from that zombie. Uh, oh, you know, yeah, that, right. Both of those there were one dice. In fact, both removals were one dice. You know, that easily could have been a couple of skulls into a bull sack. All wonder blocks should be skulls, and it should never break armor. That wise man once said that. I don't know who he is, but it's it's always sad when you lose a player to a one dice. That's it. No the... permanent damage. The apo the apo spin was critical there, though. I mean, if he loses a dancer now or a catcher, it's it's really bad. Oh well, look, you're playing to win when you've only got eleven men. The first blodger that goes out, yeah, I think. But nevertheless, uh, Woohoo now up one for the drive. He'll have his uh, stunned fleshy back. Presumably, the tree will make a step across to try and tie up two fleshies. Yeah. He could even he could even put it between the wolf and the fleshy. To enable the two dice. It takes the one dice. That's rowdy. Maybe they've got some sort of agreement where they've said, right, we're no one's allowed to block with more than one dice. The game. Tree, gonna go three dice on the wolf. Do you like it, Fash? I think the tree's better use better use than block and blodges. Well he's still gonna be tying up the fleshy. True. He's now got the wolf tied, and he's pretty much denying the left-hand side for the Necros. I guess the added benefit of trying to take out the only tackle on the Necro team. With the only tackle gone, your blodgers feel a lot safer. Yeah, three dice on a blodger, 42%. I guess yeah. it's his best odds, and it's his mighty blow as well, so it's his best odds to do something. And with the block, that makes him pretty reliable, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Was it 200 and something? The turnover? 200 and... Oh, 216, I want to say. I don't know. 128? No. For the triple skulls? And oh, no, you're right. Skulls. That's, that's 1 and 9. Uh, let's block both down as 128. So presumably double that. Yeah. 236. Oh, God. I might have 46. Gone. 56. Doing math. So here we go. Does he just push him away here, or does he try and get some follow-up blocks? Presumably just push him away, keep the ball safe. Maybe rotate horizontally, dodge out the wolf, and say, right, I guess I'm trading a flesh golem for the tree. And no more mighty blow blocks. Oh, well, this is pretty good. Gets a tackle block, frees the on pushes the wolf from the tree. 
Yeah. One in or nine. Maybe keeps not. In place. Wonder if he'll greet it. He's you definitely not going to lose that wolf. Tab I wouldn't three. even say it was bad instinctively. Played only 15 seconds to decide. And uh, look, he, he did a bunch of 1Ds earlier. And if that's something that he's willing to do, he'd be willing to admit a reroll to it. Rolled the pal. Oh my word, this Rolled wolf it. is going to town here, Fash. Another blodger. This guy will be MNG, so won't be featuring in the final. Should Holber make it through this game? Didn't need tackle, but a good choice to use tackle. Well, I'll rephrase that, a good choice to always make those tackle blocks on blodgers. Bit of Rowdy Basin. Yeah, it's, seems uh, fair enough on a... you know, Holber's, Holber's aggression, biting him a little bit there. Absolutely, the, the half aggression. I mean, too. imagine, imagine, you know, turn one, Holber stands into, uh, falls back into a standard two deep elf screen, right? The frenzy man then becomes a liability doing it because he'll frenzy himself onto the second line. Now, how how does Woohoo Boy get through a normal elf screen here? As boring as it is to see, it would be pretty effective in this match. Absolutely, especially when already one up with that tree blitz. Just denying good blocks, I think, would be better. Yeah. Or, going full mans once you got that two-man advantage for that turn. Yeah, yeah, go all in. Yeah, and take the ball. Just try and force the sidestepper into the cage. I mean, Holber seems to think he's going to win the blocking war here. And he's at a three-man, or a two-man disadvantage, sorry, because one zombie was removed. Yeah, well look, if you do get base and you can make an immediate two die block for very little risk, I think you'd do it. So for example, the zombie on the left here that was just blocked down, if you're given that, you take it for sure. But yeah, I think I think it needs to be either full on to steal the ball or just a safe screen until your opponent you... and look looks at outmaneuver your opponent. And what it's like the, the Okie Koki fast. You familiar with the dance, the Okie Koki? Isn't it the Hokey Pokey? No. You put the your left Koki. foot in. Either... Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so you're either in or Pokey. you're out. You're either in or you're out. Fash. What word are you saying? The Okie Koki. As in O K I E. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Okie Okie Koki. That's not what the do words. You say? It's the Hokey Pokey. I've been, oh, the hokey I've been to pokey. many, many a children's birthday party where the okey pokey. Well, your children have been learning the wrong words to that song. Maybe it's one of those things where I've just come to the realization that I was getting the words all wrong as a kid. Well, is chat lamenting you and berating you for not knowing the right words? Maybe. Good. Okay. It could be a regional so, thing, also. Why does the catcher go in and not the dancer? Again, it's a it's a half situation. Both side steppers on the ball is infinitely harder to deal with because he's only got one tackler. Yeah, absolutely. If the dancer ended up in front of the ghoul, who's really clearing it? And it's not being chained, is it? If the dancer and the catcher or the if the dancer. Okey dokey. Yeah, Snarf knows the one the same as me. The you Britons, you are Maybe crazy. we didn't say pokey here because it was considered rude. So again, look, he's fed a guy Whoa. to the wolf. So why not put both bloodsteppers on the ball if you're feeding your tackler? I agree, I absolutely agree. And look at the dancer in front of the ghoul, adjacent the catcher. Who's going to clear that and how's it going to be cleared for pushes? Yeah. I guess Roll the zombie out. comes up. And yeah, that's really it. The, uh, the uh, dirty player's then tied up. You have to roll for powers, absolutely. And then dodge with the, the ghoul. Okay, so the yeah, the Okie Koki is the UK version. I am not going mad. But either way, you're either, you're either in or you're out, Fash. Straight up. Yeah, it'll still be tough to clear even without this extra dancer in, but a lot easier without this extra dancer in. Um, now you can three dice here, and not only that, there's no... Well, the one in 27 is the only situation where he stays on the ball. Yeah.
And if he wanted to make ground, he wasn't doing it safely without GFIs. No. I mean, he could have been a real pain in the ass with his catcher there. How's the blodger? Ah, maybe this was hold the strategy for the half bands is tagging dirty players. He didn't tag the dirty player the first time, but this time did. So presumably then, with the K uh, with the Kaz on the other dirty player in turn one, uh, no dirty player option. This ball, available. this ball is going to be open here. It's definitely going to be open. Sure. Because the catch is going to sidestep to the zombie. Which lets the blodge lineman clear the zombie for 75%. Maybe the catcher cool. can then come down for the assist. The move 9 catcher can give the assist. He's going to get 4 dice on the ball if he re-rolls it. Maybe so cool that, and that, wolf that had to happen. That ghoul taking a block. The thing is, if if Holbert does keep getting the removals and keeps even numbers with Woohoo, it definitely benefits him. Yeah, definitely. Because because Woohoo needs to protect the ball as well as make progress. Yeah, offense being down men, or even just Woodies not being down men, usually favors the Woodies in the defense. I mean, down two, he's got to be got to be pleased. Really. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he can he can literally just walk in and one dice the ball right now. I mean, imagine his tackle guy was there. That'd be pretty sweet. One Maybe thing as well, I would say, dodged. Holber's team, Holber's team is definitely missing a single guard player. That makes a huge difference to elves. Just that one guard can open up because they're so mobile anyway especially wood elves that one guard can open up so many options that you don't have normally yeah so look with, with teams like skaven when you get doubles you always get the toss up between you know two heads guard big hand that sort of thing but with the woodies when you do get doubles on a high movement fella it, it is always going to be guard if you've got that mighty blow already So in this situation, it would be the guard applying itself to the uh, zombie adjacent the carrier, and uh, yeah. the lineman then getting a 2D. To open up the uh, ward answer. Tell you one thing, he certainly wouldn't be set up like this if Holber had a wizard right now. We've said about how it influences the game. It would just be another thing to think about on these defenses. Tree Blitz? Wow. Blitz for a 55%, obviously, because stand firm. What was the play there? Wedge the tree. Knock him down, then what? Tree GFI? Or I guess the tree probably would have marked the white and the dirty player, wouldn't he? Yeah, maybe he was thinking about a first section learn the GFI. Post Blitz. Just <sighs> yeah. tagging the ball and that fleshy, you know, wouldn't be bad. One dice clearance. I think if he's marking the wolf here, just get all your sidesteppers on the ball. Absolutely. Although he has now just covered the position that he would want to sidestep into. The problem is yeah, with these woodies as well, they're entirely reliant on the whole strip ball being a thing. You know, the no wrestle at all. Like, as nice as Blodge is, having that wrestle option really gives you some, some something to use when the Blodger's got ball and he's got short hands. Yeah, definitely. The other dancer just being tackle strip would have a better success at getting the ball down on the stumble result. Uh, but quite so. I think every team should have a wrestle on tackle. Wrestle on a wrestle on a war dancer later on in development i've never done it i've I rarely think, seen someone have block and wrestle a war dancer on the floor is never a good thing but i could you know a war dancer 
almost makes a great stripper to start with, doesn't he? Yeah, no, I think you just get your wrestle lineman to take down that blodger, maybe a wrestle tackle lineman. This seven move they I, go. I have, I have seen it done on a legendary war dancer. Uh, and Arian's wolf uh, witch in this final had a wrestle uh, block. Yeah, but a wrestle witch doesn't start with block, so it's a different game. Yeah, true, true. But I mean, someone the that elected to choose block and both wrestle gives you options. Yeah. Season three finalist Shawnee recommends uh, a dauntless wrestle catcher. Yeah, it makes a pretty good sacker. Movement eight in the backfield. And more importantly, getting anywhere. And arguably more than movement eight if, if you really need to, and sometimes you will need to. The dodge to cut corners. Often only a two plus. Yeah, then... I think Woody's can fall into that trap though, that thinking every one in 36 is a success. And the one that fails can bite you. It is satisfying when they do finally fail one as well, Fash, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's always at the end of the turn, though, when it doesn't matter on a Vancey dodge. No, I had... Um, I was playing some Wood Elves earlier. Used my Wizard to recover the ball. It's down a fair bit of TV as well, which wasn't good with zero tackle. Used my Wizard, stole the ball. Um, he moved his, he just like auto queued three dodges with his catcher to get the assist to get the ball back, and one in thirty six. And I ran off with the ball before he stood anyone up. Oh, very safe moves fight. first. It's good to get you... three dice. He's gonna get three dice on this catcher if he wants it with his fleshy, but it's gonna not clear everything. Wow, the one in nines here. He won in 27 on the catcher last turn to keep him in contact. He's thinking about the reroll here. Um, I don't know. Uh, I turn five have, with only two. Think, You've got more important blocks to make this turn. If he follows this up, oh, and pals it. Especially with this pal, now the ghoul can actually block himself free. Or is he going to dodge? Definitely don't want to drop the ball one in nine times in front of Wood Elves. He could dodge and move the dirty player one square left. The cage corners are then tied. Up. Well, they are based, but they'll be tied up on fleshies. The block on the fleshy, unless it's a removal, isn't going to be giving a hit on the ball. But it is now turn five, and so from this point on in time, he's starting to think about making some serious progression. That's he why the wolf just threat. did what he did. Maybe not in vain, it is in hand off range. Three plus with a reroll, probably don't want to, but it's nice to have that option. Shame on the man who disrespects the scoring threat. Yeah, can cost you games, Fash. It can. Even if you got like an edgy four gutter runner, knowing that you'll get an intercept, still shouldn't just ignore it. Right, so I so can't imagine him moving into the ball. Yeah. Look, looking for shots on the ball here. Um, the guard's actually in a pretty good spot, isn't he? Yeah, look, there's always leap for the back for the 1D, but if he was keen on 1Ds, he would have done it last turn. Yeah, it's, it, you can't 1D for a pal. If you re-roll it, it's 30%. I think he's, he's going to get the mighty blow uh, double hit here with the tree again. So actually, multiple block being used enough in this drive to make me agree with the pick. Yeah, look, once you've got it, I mean, using it in that manner seems pretty good. Especially against teams However, that aren't I still able to block stand it down. By, I still stand by grab before mighty block. Uh, my multiple block.
Yeah, look, I don't think he's taken it. I mean, by taking it, I mean getting a block on the ball. And certainly not too keen on the 1D based on his previous turn not taking it. So presumably the two men on the fleshy corner dodge away, the tree takes its two blocks, and maybe the blitz comes on the wolf. Yeah, I think, like you said, he can't ignore the wolf, for sure. But he's looking for a power hit. Multiple block. What is that multiple block noise? It's like ka ching bum. Ooh. No, Suck he it. regens he regens that niggle there. Not uh, not a very important player, but worth it. I mean that regen fail would have kept him down a man as well. Only one sub going into this. Yeah, and it means that his vanity failing if he ever gets around to doing it. Um, like maybe a turn eight or seven or seven, three, three, six or seven, because he wouldn't fail on turn eight. Well, you might with the bribe, but probably still not. Uh, let's him have that opportunity. So if the wolf's still standing post dancer blitz, we assume it's the dancer blitz on the wolf. If only he had his mighty blow tackle, eh? He's given up a lot of space on the right hand side for my liking here to blitz this wolf. Did he not blitz? Not blitzing. He didn't. I mean, you would just blitz that wolf on the off chance, wouldn't you? Absolutely. You got two plus dodge out, you got three re rolls, it's the first half, so you're not worried about using one to keep your ward answer off the ground. You've got, you got a blitz there, I think. Yeah, have you just wanted to maintain the screen? Did the dancer have interesting, the room to interesting get that? point from Varja Java in chat. He could have actually chosen not to stand firm there because the tree can't follow a multi block, so he could have freed up his fleshy. Oh, wow! And because Good we don't see Adger. multiple block into like much that you know that interaction isn't that widely known, is it? Going for the two dice on the dancer, no knockdown there. Now, if the dancer goes diagonally up and right he limits their space aggressive yeah, it looks staying on him makes well at least takes a square he away can't, he can't he knows he can't be blocked again yeah he knows that the position of the zombie is already cutting them off from how as they'd like to go up the right I just, I think Holber's, he's just a bit too indecisive for my liking, Fash is the word I would use. Which, I mean, he's hes sort of, he wants to go for it, but he's, he's never fully committed to it, is he? Yeah. Like, if it was the half, if it was the half man's to tie up the one remaining dirty player every turn, I think that would be okay. But it wasn't a dirty player every turn, at some point it was a unskilled zombie. And so the half man's isn't then really rationalised. The not taking we're going to see, we're gonna see a cage into okay. a foul here, I think. It's going to be cage next to the blodger into a foul. This is a pretty crucial foul, and the first time he's actually made use of this bribe. Seems fair enough. Not opting for the right-hand side, knowing... Oh my word, Fash. I don't want to spoil it, but I did oh just boy. use my player card. Oh like, boy. Did you? I did as well. Banged on. Rolled the exact break he needed. Oh, Got an extra player. Oh, the power of the Necros. That is huge. The raise the dead is insane. However, with only three turns left. down two, and Wu who gets an extra sub. One die skull from his wolf, though. I expect him to re-roll that with uh, two turns remaining. Does he re-roll this? I wouldn't hate it, just because you really want that wolf nah. stamina. The wolf standing means it's just, what, four? Five? Five elves to screen out the progression? The ball does need six squares. It'll be hard to stop the ghoul going forward six squares, to be honest. 
last <laughs> like he's running out of play well, that, this is the problem with with deciding to go for it later in the drive isn't it as the elves you yeah, you're guaranteed run out of to be down a couple of guys at least just through sheer armor sevenness especially if you're basing so yeah back to your point that you made earlier had he just elf screened with that one man advantage yeah. from the tree maybe would have right. had more the people tree, on the field the, basically you use the tree as an annoyance knowing that he can tie up three guys without much fear of of you know any re repercussions and then you elf screen them and how how do the necros advance they've got one tackler you dodge away every turn with all your blodgers and when it comes down to that turn eight his ball carriers agi three, so he's either wizarding or making a really, really bad dodge. Yeah, so look as he can't screen it. I guess just for trying to force a one in nine dodge, the dancer makes a two for a block uh, for a success on the wise. I think he's. I think he's going to blitz with the catcher to free the dancer up. I don't know why. I think. I just feel like he's going to do that. No, I'm going for the screen instead. Yeah, I was going to say the, the Dancer hits the white and then the Dauntless Catcher blitzes the zombie, puts Sidestep on the ball. And you're just then going to hope that Sidestep stays and get the Ghoul to 1 and 9 dodge. If the Ghoul's 1 and 9 dodging, the zombies will then be tied up and then it will just be the Ghoul and a Flesh Golem to protect the ball. And that will open up the Dancer and the uh, Movement 9 Catcher to sack the ball, or hopefully 2 die the ball next turn. I think yeah. that would be the... That's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's a good way to try and force something to happen. I mean, I honestly wouldn't mind, with three turns and three rerolls, I wouldn't have minded him taking a few one dies on the ball. Because if he gets a pal, like that one there, it's just, it's really hard to recover, isn't it? Because one of the whites is off, the other guy is not, is like locked down. And this is a niggled armor seven ghoul, so on the off chance he gets broken, it could be really bad. Yeah, true. No, no AG3 recovery. Yeah, anyway, like, nearby. Like what? Like he doesn't. You can't realistically expect to stop this advance right now. It's a nice screen, though. Oh! <gasps> <Flash! laughs> oh wow! Tree MVP. Clutch clutch play from the tree there. Is that his third Kaz of the game? Zeus. It is, with one region. The mighty Zeus laying down thunderbolts. Got himself a level. Third Kaz of the game. Wow. That's a big one to not regen, isn't it? Absolutely. One of the two the mighty, mighty blow, blow players. Guard as well. God, if he, um... If he hadn't taken two Kaz himself, Holb would be sitting pretty here, but we know what Wood Elves can do. The extra However, zombie too. With yeah, only the one extra man bench. zombie replaces that that fleshy now. The one man bench becomes a two man bench. Pretty powerful for for something you get for free, isn't it? Absolutely. It makes up for those games where your four plus three gens never work. Or you've got one guy on the team that you'd like to appo and uh yeah yeah all your succeeds. zombies regen and then your positional dies yeah i think if you're blocking to block through the catcher it has to be three dice so it has to be the fleshing and even then you're not really making enough ground and you have to power or you're not making the ball safe and you're not scoring this has to be a power yeah madman blocking for a power He can't re-roll that, obviously, because he's only got the one. Focus home interactive with the host fash. Oh, baby. The big boy, the big boy is getting involved now. We esports now, fash. Oh man, I don't know what this ghoul is doing. I think blocking for the... I, oh. I, yeah, I, I don't really understand because he could have pushed the lineman. Yeah, kick lineman. The non-sidestep lineman and just move through the middle just into scoring range. 
it would have still been poor protection, but better than whatever's about to happen. Whatever's about to happen this, is going to be something. This this whole situation has been saved by the tree. The reason Woohoo doesn't have enough space to work with and enough men to protect with is because the tree has been kicking the crap out of the bloody necros all game. Absolutely, the armor break, the removals, it's been... From turn one, uh, Woohoo was down a man. Uh, down two for turn two. And then I think turn four was a Kaz, and then last turn was a Kaz. So the tree's been doing tremendous work. That said, though, the two blodge linemen out for the count for the game. That's pretty bad. Less surprising, though, with one from a... I mean, it, it, has, it has to be a potato here, doesn't yeah. it? Because... Or... You, you, can you, you can't play for nil-nil. But if you potato, the Wood Elves can score on you. So he's going to play for nil-nil. He's going to pray for the Wolf, I guess. Get the Wolf scoring threat and get ready to hand off. Hate it, Fash. Yeah. You can get the ball can get two died here as well. Yeah. Oh. Well, are you blitzing the ball or are you blitzing the wolf? I guess you make the block oh, on the white bad. to see if you can get the block on the ball, and then if you can two die the ball, you go for the ball. 30%, what is it, Four, uh, 48? No. Four dice to pal. God. My math has gone, Fash. Sorry, mate. I know all of these things off by heart at 10 in the morning. What's 6 to the power of 4? Mm. I think it's, what was it, 45? Nah, it's more than that. See, this is the decision, isn't it? If he knocks this white down, he takes two dice on the ball, re-rolls it. If he doesn't knock this white down, he pulls out. Yeah, it he seems pulls fair. out. He pulls out like a one-night stand and locks down the wolf. I would say it's a 51% just off the top of my head, just picking a random number. 51% for uh, four dice power. Wow, re-rolls it. Means only one shot at powering the blodger. Man. And one shot at powering the blodger for 30%. Because the thing is, for the payoff, he needs to have a score threat. So the move nine catcher currently is. Yeah, absolutely. So if the dancer so actually, makes I guess, this... I guess you put the move nine catcher as the, at the bottom of the zone, cancel the assist, and be a score threat. In which yeah. case, the... And then the, the dauntless the catcher dauntless can be the recovery. Catcher, uh, no, I think you have to leave the ball on. I think because of the wolf, I, I would rather see two players on him. I think just worry about the recovery next turn. Fair enough. Although I suppose no, I suppose you do. I suppose you do the blitz first, and if you power him, yeah, I love yeah. that position below the zombie. I think that's a great position because he's a score threat and he's cancelling the assist. I mean, it just depends so on he, where the scatter is. If he powers him like that, Fash, like that, niggled zombie, niggled oh, zombie, no agi three inside, a niggled goal. Oh, that bounce though, that is a killer bounce. Who's definitely pleased with that bounce? The perfect spot for the scatter. Well, I would. The word I would use is unpuckered. What do you think about this, then, Fash? Get the get the uh, war dancer out of there. End of turn. Double GFI the tree in. Oh, pretty rowdy. I would do it. The tree's un well, not unlikely, but less likely well, than most people would die on the ball. Lodge step on the ball is nice. He could four pass with the team reroll to double blodge still to, to keep the they ball hasn't got on the ball. He hasn't got a team reroll now because he used it, didn't he, on the block? Sorry, uh, with the dodge reroll from yeah. the dancer. Yeah. Um, I think the tree GFIs anyway because he's irrelevant now, so he's got to get next. Never mind, fashion. Never mind. The one time you think, oh yeah, we'll make a GFI with the tree. Nah. Not wow. Doing that. Did you hear about the dyslexic gutter runner, Fash? I did not. What did the dyslexic gutter runner do? He slipped on a fig. Nah. <laughs> that was a good one. You just got it, didn't you? 
No, I, I didn't laugh hard enough the first time. I thought I'd be encouraging. Oh, right, okay, thank it's you. It's polite to love at people's jokes, even if they're bad. I don't think I don't think you take the blodge stepper off of the ball for the tree. I didn't mind your 50-50, but you're hitting the 25% on the ground with your only war dance with no appa. I think end of turn he would have GFI'd next to the... Uh, he would have GFI'd next to the zombie if he hadn't took root. Wow, looks like uh, looks like Woohoo's trying to shut down the score rather than score himself. Yeah, well, look, he has to pick up the ball, and so I think the four plus three plus with the ghoul with the short hands pickup is created by blocking for a push, and then the dances on the ball. So yeah, short hands ghoul does a good job here, but then the wolf. Hmm. What would you have thought about a bolt at the start of your turn? Woohoo does have the bolt, doesn't he? Oh god, you hate bolting on a fence, though, don't you? And the tooltip seems to have gone, so it, I don't think I don't don't think I missed it happening. What do you mean? Yeah, bolt bolt a catcher or, or the lineman and make this exact play. And pick it <sighs> nah, up and lob because, it to the ball. Nah, because you've like you've immediately got twenty five percent to not even pick up the ball. Like if you bolt and then don't score, it's a disaster. It's unless, unless the bolt is giving you a one in nine to not score or better, you're not bolting in this situation, in my opinion, just because of the failure state. It seems fair enough. Whoa, but his wolf. Yeah, don't don't him worry about it. Just, he's just not, dodge He's not leaving the pitch. Easiest, Easy. easiest player of your life. Still got Easy. the team reroll there. What are we talking? He needs to he needs to get into yellow range with GFIs maybe. Five, it's a five plus three plus right now. <laughs> oh boy. And no intercept as well. If only there was some sort of catcher intercept. An Inarian pass block catcher right now. It's a world of two. It's an inaccurate, but that doesn't mean it's over, Fash. It's over. Unless. It's over. Oh no. boy. No. No, now, I believe this time on the clock, Fash, is known as Elf Time. Yeah, the initial scatter did favour, well, it was either the 1 on the 2 or the 5 or the 6 on the scatter dice, and then on a 1, with a then 1 on the scatter, could have caught, the wolf still could have caught it on a throw-in. Um, but yeah, presumably it'll be... I reckon blitz off the dirty player zombie, 75% catch on the catcher in two tackle zones, and Foxtrot Oscar down the pitch. Haha, <laughs> Foxtrot Oscar, I like that. So say the tree had made his GFI last turn and oh, absolutely. faced that zombie. Oh my god, that would have been insane, wouldn't it? So let's have a look. That guy first. And now who are you doing it with? Are you, the, are you dodging out the dancer? Are you leaping with... Nah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why wouldn't you do that the other way around? I guess you couldn't reach. He couldn't reach to go for the assist without a GFI. Now the G the GFI has got to be better than blocking with the non-block guy. So now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One G one GFI here with sure feet into a seventy-five percent handoff. With an assist, he uh, to cancel the fleshy. He could one D another zombie mark on the catcher. Make the catch a three plus. Nah, you don't. You don't. You don't make a one D there because you a got two plus what, you to got make 50. it a three plus. Yeah, but it's not a push. Doesn't help you, does it? True, true. Oh, unless, yeah, yeah, he, because the one he can push hit a push him. is not a success. So he's talking a fifty-fifty with a one in six to burn his reroll, and he might need his reroll for the GFIs. Oh, it's tempting. I think, no, nah, I think I'd just take the the reroll with catch, man. Fair enough. Single GFI is good. Double fail on the catch. One in nine, so the one tackle zone wouldn't have helped him. And yeah, nearly a counter score. 
Really lucky to dodge that, that wolf out. That would, that would have put Woohoo in a really bad spot because he would need to burn his wizard to turn over and he would need to get the score just to take it to overtime. Yeah, definitely. Now, will we see Holber stall successfully for eight turns? Or is he going to go the crazy just score whenever route that we saw from him in the last drive or the last game? David amongst some Woodolf coaches. Well, it's 11 against 9 to start with, but if the tree carries on the way he has been, we could see a few more being added to that. It's not going to be too difficult to stall, though, with all these blodgers, is it? Line of blodgers, just hang around until you're ready. Turn 13, 14, start to run some catches downfield. Yeah, and then you're just really only scared of the wolf. You just play, Make the tree as annoying wolf. as possible. Like, constantly keep the fight around the tree as well. So if he takes root, you can just kick people into him. Yeah, curiously, the, the ghoul throw to the end zone wolf, or end zone wolf as some people call it. That was the thing I got done on the other day. Uh, I've been calling it the end zone. All the kids at school said, let's take the ball to the end zone. End Apparently zone. people in other countries, uh, they call it end zone. And it I, I know it's end, the official rule. End zone. Yeah. I know in official sports it's called the end zone, the end zone. But kids at school call it the end zone when we're playing footy in, in the soccer or in the, in the oval at school. I thought it was a colloquial term, like the cokey hokey or whatever you said. <laughs> yeah, uh, double GFI. Was that going to make the pass a 4+, plus? because if, if it was, double GFI to make the pass a 4+, plus over a 5+, plus is about 6% better. It might have even been 1 GFI, I'm not sure. Yeah. I think it was 1 GFI for a yellow pass. I... I don't know. I think you might be right. Are you going back to have a look? I'll tell you what, I'll do that. Are we still on the Necro right. perspective? Knorr with the big whopping host there. Wow. Welcome to all the Knorr viewers joining us for the semi-final match. Season 3 Champions League. He appears to be nine squares away, and it's perfect weather. So one square? Yeah, I don't think I'm miscounting it. Hey, do you know any good cheese puns? No, but I've got a horrible feeling you're about to tell me some. No, oh, never mind them. So only, like, with that bribe on his own offence, only one foul committed by Woohoo Boy the entire drive. But what a foul it was, Fash. It was the dream result. Fatality the death. on Mercury. Picking up a much-needed uh, zombie. And Mercury is now on the pitch. But for the opposite team. I actually think the body should disappear if he's raised. Do you know what I mean? No? What do you mean body should disappear? The uh, the body of the dead guy oh, in the been raised yeah, gotcha, gotcha. should disappear if he takes place. Or it should literally raise him but in zombie form. Wasn't there an old set of rules where you used to get the stats as well? Probably. Before my time. It makes sense though, as it is, uh, there's lots of stipulations regarding regen on who and who you can't regen. From strength based four on their players, strength. Yeah. yeah. You can't necromancer strength four uh, strength above strength four players. Yeah, nobody's allowed to watch this stream if they're not drinking, apparently. Holber gets an extra reroll, pretty nice. Absolutely new for his offense, but I think uh Woohoo's defensive strategy will be well, look, it firstly depends on what Holber does. If he runs a bunch of people downfield and looks to score early, you say, sweet, go for it. 
now I've got a chance to uh, take it to overtime. If not, and Holber, Holber is looking to stall, I think the Wolf Blitz every turn into a foul every turn will be the way to go. Um, what? Nah. No. 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 No, really? No. It could happen. Why would you do it? Like, have you ever heard the phrase, Fash? You know, just because you can. Yeah, it doesn't mean you stop should. Think, should you? Yeah. All right. So Holber seems to be planning for a one turn on turn nine, giving his opponent seven turns to score and equalize and go into overtime. I think no, as originally stated, was correct. And now what does he do? Does he try and clear this tackle zone with the loner? I guess he has to. Shouldn't have put the loner there, that's for sure. I want to see the other guy come and protect the ball first then. I think everyone should go and protect the ball first. Well, yes, that that do one other guy then, sure. Nope, looks like he's going to do a 1 in 9 failure rate handoff in front of the entire Necro team. Indeed. And then a triple GFI. He's got a short feet and a team reroll though. <laughs> I mean, that, that doesn't make it okay. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that makes it okay. However, I mean, I thought I thought we'd seen all this madman had to offer. Fash. I thought there no. was no more madness left in the madman can. This the madman playbook is to go even further beyond a madman. That's a Super Saiyan quote. Sometimes to go a little beyond a Super Saiyan. You have to embrace the madman. Unbelievable. Well, now now, now he's just paused. Is he second guessing himself? <laughs> he's like, he like, maybe I, I shouldn't do this. Did he, th did he think it was turn eight? Is he so used to them scoring on turn eight oh, that he thought it could was turn be. eight? Could and be. And now he's like, and now he's like, Whoops. it was at that point Holborn knew <laughs> he messed up. Here he comes, oh, boys. My. He's gone for the diagonal, so my camera skills have failed me. He failed a GFI. He's going to make two more with no reroll. Oh. He's got it over the line first. Wow. Well, the vanity one turn. To give your opponent seven, eight turns to score. To equalize. Well, I don't... Like, if he'd have got the defensive score and in the face of a wizard, I would have loved that play. Yeah, in the face of a wizard being 2-0 up, absolutely. If you can go 2-0 up, you always go 2-0 up, and there's never a bad time to be 2-0 up. But to be 1-0 up in an overtime format, I don't know. And this this team could have scored whenever they fancied, really, just by the movement 9 catcher wandering slightly into the opposition's half. Even just stalling a couple of turns, 2 or 3, and then running it in gives the Necro... Uh, it makes it a lot harder for the Necro and giving them, you know, four or less. But that said, Fash, Necro score, he just one turns again. Maybe this is his game plan now. Maybe. This is his life now. Necro score, I one turn. Necro score again, I one turn again. I'm I mean, sure Woohoo, having seen that, will say, to, well, I'm going to set up for that next turn. All you have to do is not roll blocks. Um, if only he had two si uh, stand firms and a sidestepper, Fash. Yeah. He used to. I used to have two stand phones on the side stepper like you. And then I, and oh, then I took a Kaz from a tree. Play, I will play the video at the end of the stream. Have you seen Unholy Crusader's video he made? No. Did you see the disgusting Dark Elf touchdown? No. Oh, man. Oh, man. You're in for a treat, Fash. Did, did a player run the ball to the end zone? Uh, it involves the turn 16 tripwire. Okay. Someone link it in my chat, and I'll give it to Fash. You know, um, Blood Bowl Superstar and Titan, Muldripster, points out that this I, is the Wood Elf... <laughs> this, this is the Wood Elf offense, and so the Necro scoring on turn 16 doesn't give a one turn back for the Wood Elf. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I understand that, but by giving him... 
you know, by giving him seven turns, I imagine the Wood Elves can exert enough pressure that they'll be forced to score whenever they have the chance, rather than just sit around. Unless they absolutely dominate. And this is the time where I wouldn't mind seeing Blodgers on the line. Because now keeping guys on their feet is critical. I don't like this white next to the tree. I think this is yeah. entirely unnecessary. Like he could have he could have hit with the mighty blow there and not had his white next to the tree. He still fulfilled his three LOS obligations. Absolutely. Seems to be basing the tree for fun. And not having a follow-up on blocks of pushes. I think if, if you're going to take the or pay the price of basing a tree with a AVA white, uh, you're doing it to get the follow-up block. I'd still never do it. But you'd be doing it so you could block with the white to get a follow-up block from another white. I mean, tree Kaz is this white, bases that zombie, suddenly that's two players out for the drive, effectively. Whoa. Don't know what the zombie's thinking he's doing. I don't know. Well, Woohoo Boy's still got his bribe, so he can foul for momentum here. And, like, uh, if he can bring it out to turn 16, then it's great, isn't it? Because he's guaranteed overtime. Problem is, Wood Elves receiving overtime. You're in a little bit of trouble unless there's only three of them left. Absolutely. So I think uh, Woohoo's uh, Boy's play for this drive should be make sure there's only three of them left. Safely stall. Make your two die blocks. Get as many Kaz as you did in the first half or more. Get more than one foul in for the drive. I don't think you foul anything at this point with two men up. And the bribe, for sure. See all these blitz in hand? I think he's thinking about this rowdy wolf uh, two into one. It's pretty risky though, isn't it? And it exposes your wolf. And the ball's now not safe. If he fouls. Not even, not even doing it. Is he blitzing with the DP? No, he's just fouling. Mm. Imagine a ref sees this into a one on the bribe. Could be pretty and crazy. No Blitzman. But made the ball safe, so I, I liked that. Had protection for the pickup. Not that safe though, is it? No, but better he's than allowing a, He's some allowing pitches. a four plus dodge in. Yeah, so then Holbus perspective, uh, like what's he thinking? Is it going to be, let's go ham, take the ball, and win 2-0, or, or simply just be 2-0, and therefore win? Presumably that's what it is. Like that, When you score early, that's what you're looking to do. It's so hard to get it off this goal, though, isn't it? Yeah. To be honest, I think, at the moment, he's got enough guys that he can elf screen. I would try and make the tree as big a nuisance as it can be, and just look for that opening. The second you get a really good turn with a couple of stuns, maybe, or the trees removed a couple of guys, then you go for the jugular. But at the moment, his his previous strategy of going half in, half out is just going to get him attritioned out of this game. Did he blitz? This is very bizarre. So he wants he Let's wants to move the tree. Ready for a roost? He wants to get the tree on the fleshy. Lock, he, then that locks the dirty player out as well, doesn't it? Because the other one's Kaz. Yeah. That's three guys traded for a tree right now. Fleshy can make a two dice on it, but it's not even that good, is it? 55% looking for the push, uh, looking for the uh, pow or defender stumbles. Both down, not good enough. Tree has block. Push, not good enough. Tree has stand firm. Lodge steppers going in. What about one extra assist from a nearby uh, zombie? Uh, fleshy 2Ds the lineman behind the tree, and the wolf makes 4 die on the tree with claw. Oh god, it's potentially good, but potentially so, so bad as well, isn't it? Yeah, actually, the guy behind the tree is stunned, so that's not even needed. It'll be the one extra assist. To free up but it's not it's not four dice on the tree is it because he doesn't stand firm and therefore frenzy traps you true 
You could block from the square southeast of the tree and push the tree into your stand farm to stop the not using stand farm. Does that make yeah? sense? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. And that you was the, the flesh golem. Yeah. But then imagine you only roll pushes and suddenly. <laughs> oh, then you know, you're sad. Then, then nearly half really your sad. team is now standing next to a multi-block tree, looking like a bunch of idiots. Yep. Well, tackle man, basically dirty player. The, uh, I honestly Apple think. Tackle man. I honestly think give the tree a zombie and everyone else buggers off is my is my strategy here. This is what zombies are for: dealing yeah, with things that you don't want to deal with. We saw what happened first half. The tree just cast them all. Yeah, but by the time he's cast two zombies, he's irrelevant. Providing you actually take the opportunity to move forward, which I think Woohoo Boy didn't last half. He went for he went for value targets, and then when he didn't knock them down, the sidestep undid him. It looks like he's going for the hit on the tree here. Thought he needs one though. more assist, though. Oh my god, this could backfire fast. This could backfire spectacularly. Uh, Fleshy doesn't knock down the tree, then what? <laughs> I cry. Reroll it, oh. reroll it till it does. Now what? Now what, Fash? Banged on. I wonder if the tree's gonna stand firm here. Hmm. Presumably. Yeah, you'd hope so. How do you oh, add the down. wolf to the mix? I guess so. But that's... then, that's a trap, isn't oh. it? Yeah, it's the frenzy trap if he doesn't stand firm because he's blocked the play that you suggested. Yeah. If this tree proceeds to smash faces now and doesn't get the MVP. Oh, he's getting the MVP. Absolutely. We'll make I it happen. Three, three cats in the first half deserves it anyway, doesn't it? Absolutely. Just that alone. One dice on <laughs> Oh, Fash. What? Oh, my God. Oh. There's no justice in Bloodfall. Now the zombie can get two dice. Oh, my God. Okay, then. I was just sick in my mouth a little, sorry. I'm triggered. Let me just hit that 16% real quick, Fash. Should and number 12 zombie. Tackler. 12 zombie pushes the catcher. And looks to free up the other zombie to foul the tree. Oh, he did the wrong one. Eh, it doesn't matter. Could have sidestep side side anyway. I would, I would dodge to foul the tree here. Yeah, me too. That's game, isn't it? Although the tree is only 50-50 to stand up. Got and... Him. He's now failed to stand up in a pretty awkward place. <laughs> Would you blitz the dirty player then? Just to try and stop that from happening. Oh, I guess so. I mean, look at this. Now though. with the tree on the ground, even looking if, around even if Holmes scrapes of through now, he's minus his tackle. He does get his war dancer back, I suppose. But God, this is a gruesome game for him, isn't it? Double deaths. The... Tackle Man's been cast before this game. He was the Apo target. Yeah, so four Kaz actually, yeah. Yeah, it looks like what you said, Fash, he's going to try and neutralize that dirty player to protect his tree. <laughs> it's not going to help him, though. The Flesh Golem's just going to clear that lineman and he's going to foul it anyway. Like, he's in no rush now, is he? Three men up. That nearly, like, what if he didn't pal that guy? Oh, he was so done. Absolutely done. And just goes to show how great the tree is against uh, edgy three bash teams. With only two strength yeah. four. It was just going to be an absolute terror. I mean, I wouldn't say we're seeing Blood Bowl at its finest right now. But we can never accuse these guys of being boring. I <laughs> definitely not. If you power him, 
and you're willing to one dice, why are you not following up on one dice and with the catcher? You know, where where do you draw the line on one dice, Fash? I don't know. I need to get inside the head of a madman. So I, I, can I don't really make one dice blocks, so I wouldn't know. Badge is the man to ask about one dice. But do you see what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Like, if you're going to make one 1D enable... block, make a second 1D block. Maybe it's to keep the screen. But the screen's already there, and he's brought an extra man that could have filled it anyway. And now there's a huge gap on the left. A uh, different catcher to fill the other gap. Got it. I don't know, eh? Bit rowdy. I'd like to see the so, stats for these two coaches. I reckon these two coaches have rolled more 1Ds than every other coach, without a doubt. Just from, just from every memory. Every other one doge coach in their qualifying campaign. Yeah, I don't really recall many other... Maybe the Muldripster Large Thud. Orcs and Dwarves are with, with guard everywhere. Often does become a little bit of a one-dice slog. Um, I, think, I think here Flesh Golem blitzes the loner. Sets up the big gang foul on the tree. Cages, why in, not. cages in situation. Turn 11. You've got overtime to play for. You've already removed three. You know, tree gets Kaz, then it's it's looking like game, isn't it? Yeah. Wizard in hand. It, even just think, an, just a break on the tree would probably be enough. Both of, these, the right. uh, both of these coaches apparently have trained under the famous Mexican coach, Juan de Montoya. <laughs> Is that spelled with a J or an O? A or J. A or a Y. No. Juan. Juan Dees. Doesn't want assists. Fair enough. And by fair enough, I mean, why don't you want assists? You got the bribe, right? I think this is the time you rely on the bribe. I think you're yeah. right. Fleshy should have done the blitz and then chilled. Dirty yeah, player comes in, to, you don't then you rotate forward. your whole team. Oh, man. Why have a dirty player and a bribe if you're not going to use it? He's like, oh, I need to... He's, he obviously doesn't want to fall into the trap of last half where he doesn't score, which is fine. You know, I can get on board with that. Yeah, and I thought, well, but, look... The but why fleshy, take it? I thought the fleshy cancelling and assist might have the white uh, blitz the learner. Uh, with the other zombie then tagging the dodger, so you got the mighty blow blitz on the learner uh, for a 75%, and then the dirty player stands up for the foul. It's a worse foul, but you get the mighty blow blitz as well, which seemed tempting. But I mean, this is arguably good enough. Dirty player still then tied up for the presumably quite some time, but, but like, made but some like, ground look at, look at and escaped achieved. the tree this turn flash right the ball went one square forward and he switched sides against wood elves right switching sides isn't a tactic that works against wood elves i'm gonna throw that out there right yeah so just stay where you are and maximize the tools at your disposable to get ahead in the game ergo blitz the loner foul the tree and keep the ball safe those Vis are my goals vis-a-vis -vis concordantly or Base a load of dudes and give the Wood Elf the chance to get back into the game. Hmm. So you're going for the base load of dudes option. Okay, catch her across. TD on the white. A success. Follow. TD on the zombie. No, just, no, use the War Dancer. Don't rely on the Dauntless. You can 2D the white anyway, can't you, from standing? Yeah, I mean, the, the catcher walks across and then it opens up the chain of twos on the left hand side. The blitz can presumably open up some twos on the right hand no, side. No, you've, you've already got a lineman there, haven't you? Yeah. So the blitz. Yeah. Oh, oh do you mean hit with the non block guy? Yeah. Mm, don't like, don't well, like that. You, you, don't. Can't re you can't re roll the w one in nine times you're taking a free mighty blow here that you can't re roll. So, nah, I, you're I still think I'd expend my then? blitz on that. Um, yeah, I'm not relying on Dauntless. No one else can get away without dodging because of the tackle wolf. But if we're talking and about free blocks and what you can block down. You know, yeah, if these coaches are taking one Ds, well, yeah, you know, yeah, surely we're, we're they're going to risk the one We're not talking about what these guys are going to do. Well, why, well, let's just talk about what these guys are going to do. I reckon there's no way he's not taking this two-die block. This immediate two-die block. Mitigate risk? Nah. There's a two there, he's going to take it.
You know, that wizard's still in hand, isn't it? It's disappeared on my UI. But it's allegedly still in hand. I don't see a wizard scorch mark on the field. I don't think I passed out and missed it visually. Wow, I dodged it. Hey. <laughs> so you're gonna try he's gonna try and hit the wolf then. Fair enough. Just roll powers, innit? it? Yeah, look, I haven't seen a single leap this game, which is a stark contrast to the leap every second turn against uh, Ducky's Lizards. Yeah, so but I guess Ducky really had value on the. Yeah, the strip ball making a huge thing. difference. Similarly, it was a tackle strip dancer, which is a much more with, with mighty blow. With mighty blow, blow as well. Things, yeah. And look yeah. at that, it doesn't get the wolf down. That could have been a nice hit on a white into a follow up on the zombie. Gives him a little bit of momentum to work with. Two guys on the floor. If you, if you tag both of the guys on the floor with a single lineman, you get a two-for-one trade. At the moment, he's four men down, considering his tree refuses to stand up as well. Uh, we can assume the tackle wolf is going to do something next turn. I don't, I, don't, I don't really see what the wood elf game plan is here. Is it just dodge away on the screen? He could have done that holding the ball and scored on turn 16 himself. Yeah. But if you know if you know Woohoo Boy is playing into overtime, you just want to keep your tools available to score quickly. Yeah, but then he just would never have based this drive. Well, I don't think that would have been incorrect. If you don't see an opening, I don't think that I don't have a problem with that. Just elf screen, slow them down, and force them to take risks to advance. You know, remember when he started this drive, he had nine men. Pretty tempting catcher. No sidestep. You got the mighty blow shot into the wolf shot. Although that would bring you towards the tree. I think at this point you just want to be away from the tree. Yeah, I think that he had the choice there. Like, on the turn when I said foul the tree, you know, he's only committing to that turn and then he moves away from the tree and keeps it irrelevant. But I think, considering there's an overtime drive and stuff like that, I think taking one shot at it while you've still got the bribe isn't a bad thing. He committed enough to knock it down, so he might as well try and finish the job. I was so surprised when that foul didn't come. Yeah, I mean... If the tree had stood up two turns ago, it could actually be a nuisance now, couldn't it? Mighty blowing the easiest target to hit. Lone alignment, I like that. Yeah. If he tries to rotate left, I think that'll leave a lot of zombies, you know, near the tree. Which could be a bit spooky. Yeah, well, they're, yeah, they're going to be a bit irrelevant. Again, you know, it's turn 12. He doesn't need to be pushing this hard right now. And like you said, he needs, he needs to be wary that while some of his team is fast, the rest of the team is not. Yeah, maybe that last turn, or the first drive, where he didn't score and really struggled to make progression, realised that he does need to get you know, downfield earlier. Well, doesn't need to, but wants to. To check, to check the box of the I am capable of scoring. I really don't like a loose screen here. Okay. So he's going for, like, a wall of dudes instead. Almost a red carpet special. Are you a fan of the red carpet? I do, yeah, but against against elves, you know, the three plus dodges through the line can happen. I think Holber has to take risks to try and win this now. Because in my mind, right, if he gets to receive in overtime, it's going to be a two-turn drive where he either scores or loses. Those are the outcomes, isn't it? Because he's going to get whittled down otherwise. So he only needs two rerolls. So I don't mind committing one to trying to steal the ball. No matter how rowdy the play. Maybe his plan all along was the overtime. Speaking of and rowdy this... plays. Oh, five, six, seven. Like, look at the move nine catcher, right? He can actually get round the back of this ghoul currently and provide an assist. 
Uh, we could get some cancels on the other assists with a couple of one in nines from another blodger. We could see the war dancer leap in for two dice. Depending on what the dirty player zombie does, of course, his position will be critical. But I think, you know, if you're playing wood elves, it's almost your duty to roll some dice and try and get two dice on the ball. Seems fair enough. Because this this sort of half-assed approach is only going to end one way. That zombie's now shut down any thought of that. But do you hate a one dice on the ball, Fash? I never like to block for one Ds on blodgers that need a power, unless it's, you know, turn 15, and if I don't, I lose. But you've, uh, you've only got one failure, the skull. So one in 36 failure. And the outcome, look at the position of the wolf. You've got a blodge stepper on the ball. Yeah, true. So, like, you know, the success is not... The power is the ultimate outcome, for sure. But a blood step on the ball with the wolf out of position is still pretty good. You'd have to go four mans for it, I think, for it to be worth it. Just to stop those zombies from blocking to clear this side stepper on pushes. And then the ghoul potatoing up to the red carpet. It'd have to be a sound, diligent commitment. And it would oh, have yeah, to be... Yeah. Sooner rather than later. Well, like we, like we said, if you're in, you're in. Yeah. <laughs> no Koki no, Koki Shoki. Yeah. No Shoki Wokies. Whatever it is. No Tyrion, no Tyrion Lannisters. There's a one in nine. First action, two die with no block. Burns a reroll that he potentially needs for overtime. I mean, I would have I would have stood the tree up before I did that, but definitely. Maybe he's thinking about final action to tag a zombie with the tree. Yeah, alright. But now with no reroll, if you fail anything. Yeah. He's, we're assuming he's either two dicing the wolf with his dancer or trying to dodge away. Without the reroll in hand, I think the two dice is preferable. I think so too. But I think he wants to get his. I think he's realizing that he needs to get both of these blodge steppers onto the ball. It looks like he wants to blitz down this zombie and get both of them there. So it'll be a couple of two pluses. If he can get both on the ball though, it could be really annoying. And then imagine the tree stands up, does double GFI, doesn't get the knockdown. That's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, it'll just mean the one. But the one could be annoying enough. Oh man, ordering is a bit of a pressure here. Yeah, or oh, the tree. I honestly don't know fan. how either. I don't know how either of these players are going to react to playing either Ringtail or a large stud. Oh, oh, oh. I, I honestly think both of those coaches are going to carve them up. I don't know when you take these rowdy risks uh, and get away with it. Like one D's for Kaz. Most of the Kaz on the Wood Elf's been one D's barring the foul, hasn't it? Gets both guys off of the wolf. However, the wolf can be easily cleared now. Absolutely. Well, it is the one in iron risk, but yeah, absolutely. But also, he can. Um, it makes a nice screen to stop the wolf. Force, he can force the dancer off the ball. Yep. And in fact, he can, he can force the dancer off the ball using the zombie, blitz with the fleshy, and re cage further up the field. So obviously, Holber, knowing that, wants to get his catcher in a really annoying spot. I quite like that play. Oh, when after consuming his reroll, did go for the second dodge. I think I would have just sufficed to mark the zombie after I failed the first one. Absolutely, sidestepping in the way was going to be enough. Just stop the left-hand side flank from being safe. I don't yeah, think no. Thud played. I don't think Thud played terrible against Hippie. I think he. I mean, he was on the back foot anyway, just because of the matchup and how good Hippie's team was. He got very lucky with some of the things he did, but I don't think he played badly with the resources given. He did have to potato on occasion, but so, like you know, sometimes you have to potato. It's not. It's not good to make it your primary game plan, shall we say? Look at this from the Wood Elves, though. They've got. They've got the Necros separated and backed into a corner here. If he'd have left that catcher standing, 
instead of taking that extra dodge, he would. Yeah. I mean, I suppose if he'd have made the dodge, it would have been huge. The tree, the catcher screen, really denies any sort of movement. And with I the would honestly say tool... Ringtail's my favourite right now for the win. Sorry, what were you saying, Fash? My bad. Yeah, def you're definitely right. Definitely screened off. The downfield men, like the semi-red carpet on the right side, as well as the red carpet on the left side, has five men that aren't really round the ball, that are pretty separated. I mean, the white can come across, but only to some extent. Uh, yeah, the wolf can be freed for a blitz to, to open some space somewhere. But he's not really getting back to the right-hand side of the field. And the two side steppers on the left-hand side of the field will just cause all sorts of problems. Maybe if the wolf ends up being a cage past the two dumbed uh, elves on the left-hand side, and the ghoul just walks around it. We'll have a yeah, cage, it's uh... still it's still a little bit open though, I think. Yeah, not not a proper cage, Isn't but isn't it a... mad though how a team like Wood Elves with some blood steppers can you know two turns can look completely different, can't they? Like one yeah, minute definitely. it looks like they're being completely dominated, a few rowdy dodges later, and suddenly you're like, how do I get this ball safe? Yeah, exactly. Tree stands up, makes a GFI, ends up in a great spot. He should have been a lot further away. I think the turn where he did rotate left, I said, oh, he's making the tree a little bit more relevant than I would like. And, you know, paid the price. Yeah, once you've done the work to get the tree down, you definitely get don't, away from then, it. You don't yeah. then go back to him and make him relevant again. Make tree great again. Wow, it takes the white well out of the fight to get that mighty blow block. Because you can look at the ghoul, and you know the ghoul's only going seven squares. The further it's getting is adjacent the downed uh, learner mm, Rudolph I, Lyman. Uh, I don't think he's going forward this turn. But how does he... How well, does not he after that, but no. How, like, this zombie can come round, maybe trap the sidestep, but the wolf's got a fair bit of movement as a movement nine. Oh, no. Do you think he's throwing it from the ghoul to the wolf? I, at this point, Pash, <laughs> at this <laughs> point, I don't want to, uh, I, I, no, oh It's the only God. thing that rationalizes the play. You'd have to make a G. This is, it's a conspiracy. This is a conspiracy, right? They've just, Whoa. he Whoa. ran out of time. He ran out of time, did he? Must have. What? <laughs> I, I'm done, mate. I yeah, well, look, that's the, it's the only play that rationalizes that blitz from that white. Is the throw. And for the wolf to No, I think he moved. wanted to make the throw, but I think he ran out of time. But why? Yeah. You've got you've got time to play with. And just the three-man cage with the top left-hand corner not screened. When the mighty blow... Uh, like, and the two if, whites. And the wolf If Holber gets it downfield, right? It doesn't even matter if they zap. Because... Holber doesn't need to score. He just needs to stop the Necro score. Next turn is turn 14 for the Necro. So, you know, they're, they're starting to run out of time. Man, that mighty blow tackle war dance would be looking good about now. Yeah, definitely. Makes him safe plays first. Moves the but people it's a, it's that a, it's don't a two, require It's a dice. two plus with dodge to get four dice on the ball. Absolutely. Right? In fact, do you know what? I might even dodge the kicker first. And then use the lineman just to have that catcher to run off. Like, I look how so far too. that catcher can get. I like the how... Oh, I liked having him as the recovery. I guess his plan is he can... If, like, you know, if he gets it, he can just throw it. Even just potato make, downfield. He could... He could make this three dice flash. Not even difficult. Is it the punish? It's not the punish on the first roll. Is he going to go to one re-roll here on the ball? Or is he just going to put a load of blood steppers on him? Right, both down oh. is the play here. Don't let gets, him move. Gets away with it. Unbelievable. Yeah, but he's not out of the woods yet, is he? He's going to have some... Uh... I would have made that three. A two plus <sighs> with no dodge. It's a full man commitment, but yeah. Because you need that ball on the ground. 
six yeah but six dice on the ball and five men around it if it goes down what a necro do well the necro would have would be forced into wizarding there would be no other play I have no idea what's going on, Fash. He needs to get... Uh, I mean, why has he not stood up his blodge step catcher, at the very least, to do something? Makes the... Uh... Yeah. Three plus, so he's got a two plus now to get the blodge step on. He needs to make sure he doesn't give a push play as well here. Because the sidestepping the side dancer is only as good as his chance to keep him on the ball. So here, uh, that's... It's alright, because it's hard for the Necro to get round them, isn't it? Only the Wolf can realistically get round there. Yeah, also maybe this is the turn that a ball comes on, on like a sidestep dancer. Or someone to open up that push play to free the goal. It's time for the tree to do what he does best. And punch some mans in the face. This lineman is not risking a 2 plus dodge. He'd rather just soak up a block, wouldn't he? First multiple block. Fails his 75% arc. That's a cool noise, actually, isn't it? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Those three zombies are now pretty irrelevant. Maybe the bottom one's not. Yeah, look, he could uh, uh, put an assist in somewhere. Wow, no, no thought of the wizard, immediately stupid wizard. blood. I, you know, I would have at least considered the dancer zap there, maybe. Because I know people like to save their wizard for overtime, Fash, but I've said it once and I'll say it again. It's no good saving for it if overtime doesn't come. So presumably the wolf clears the ghoul, ghoul one in nines? And by one in nines, I mean dodgers? Wow. Wow. But dodges to where? How does he get safe? Potato. The white blocks alignment, the other white... But let, like, let, they, let's they be realistic. Strain. He has a 1 in 9 chance to lose the game here. To be out of the tournament. Yeah. Maybe we're just playing Blood Bowl wrong, Fash. Could <laughs> be. Yeah, look, if the white made this block first, uh, a couple of zombies could get somewhere relevant or close to where the ghoul will end up with the ball. God, he really got away with it there though, didn't he? Really did. There were wide tackle zones too, so the dancer's still always in for a shot. I think this, number this nine zombie needs to double GFI as well, just to make this Biggest one in nine of this school's- Oh, Fash, he's just sneaked it! That- that was living on the edge. Yeah, look, I think that was his best, best play to score, though. Those are the sorts of one in nines he can tolerate, in that yeah. if he doesn't take that risk, he's done. Making blocks, though. I, th I would much rather this zombie double GFI to the right, not re-roll it, even if you could. And Looking ahead to overtime. Yeah. But just so the tackle zone's a little tighter in case uh, the kick lineman blocks down number 8 zombie and frees up the dancer and the catcher. Now we see a foul. Doesn't break armor. So we're gonna, we could see another two dice on the ball, but at this point, yeah. Hol Holber has to think about committing this reroll, doesn't he? If he can put enough pressure, though... The problem with those two stuns is difficult, but if there was enough pressure that he forced Woohoo to score, he can then try the one turner, clears the zombie. So there's going to be some three pluses. Well, it's single to GFI to get the unassist on the uh, unmarked assist on the goal after they dodge through the zombie, not the wolf's tackle zone. And yeah, then the dancer can either dodge through or leap through, leaping through presumably. Well, depending on if he uses the reroll or not, if he wants to take that one in nine risk. I, I would probably dodge until I use my reroll. Depending on how far you got. If I failed the first dodge... Whoa, went oh. through tackle, the madman! 
his last reroll here, but he's giving up the score if he doesn't. What a dilemma. I think he has to save this reroll, Fash. I don't think he can reroll this. Because he's not losing this game. Therefore, the reroll is, is is more valuable to him if he receives. It's sound rationale, and just marking it isn't going to be enough. No. But yeah, I think, based on the fact that I'm never rerolling that dodge, going through the zombie tackle zone was the correct play. Woohoo Boy will be able to stall until turn 16, um, and I imagine he's going to try for some sort of mighty blow hit on the Dancer to try and secure this. Yeah. I mean, he was making a D6 without a uh, inbuilt reroll, regardless in that by going through the zombie he was rolling a GFI. The advantage to rolling the GFI, or not rerolling the GFI if it was a 1. No, it didn't would have to be... do a GFI. Didn't it? He, uh, one, no, two, I would have just, would... no, just, just, just gone straight through him with 3 plus dodges and then stopped Oh, him gotcha. Right. rerolled one. Would have failed your first dodge, mate. Well, yeah, but that it was still would have made it doesn't make it not the correct play. Yeah, well, I was thinking the two plus would have been better. So the movement nine catcher on the two plus through the oh, okay, and walk right downwards. round the top. Yeah, round the back. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, so when you do fail that GFI, your your catch is at least clearer, nearer to the ball. Three plus three plus for a one dice on the ball with this dancer. You would think it would be screened. Somewhat. Double six. Gets the injury. It's only a rookie lineman. He will be missing the next game. Holber only fielding 11 anyway. Bribe now consumed, but four Wood Elves. It's looking dire for the Wood Elves, isn't it? If they want to come out of this, they're going to need to receive and they're going to need to score quick. Wouldn't mind this down or zombie he's... standing up first, being one square to the right, just to make that dancer pathing a little more difficult. Yeah, add a little, add a little dodge. Although he's going to have tackle on him anyway. That zombie's now not an option. No. And the wolf taking a two dice, maybe. I guess if the wolf's taking a two, the ball isn't getting blitzed. Yeah, he's definitely scoring. I think you just run it in. Wow, up to the uh, overtime coin flip on who receives. If the Wood Elves receive four men down, Fash, I think they uh, can still, still two do catches? it. Yeah, absolutely. Of the speed. <laughs> Even just attempt that one turn again. Has a real force? Yeah, I think receiver wins. Good time to take root. If you're going to take root on your tree, turn 16 isn't the worst time to do it, is it? He wanted to cancel that assist. He's going to two dice the wolf to try and free a path for his dancer. Uh, and he's going to double skull it, which he's not going to reroll. Pretty unfortunate. If there's a time to double skull, it's on on turn 16. Now, woohoo, will he risk quads? Does. Oh. 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 Luckily Cheeky. he went for the three dice. He did take a three dice with block, so pretty good. Seeing that though, will that will that stop him doing a two dice on this dancer? Oh, really makes you think. because nah, of the frenzy trap. Okay, so we're going into overtime. He does still have the wizard. You can't use a wizard against the one turner. This will be big, won't it? Because if Woohoo receives, Holber's not getting the ball. Wow, presumably looks not. Like, looks like the Wood Elves have won the toss, Fash. Wow, spoilers. Based on the symbols. Uh, Necro won the toss. Shows to receive. Oh, no, no. Oh, it, said, it showed the Necro symbol and said the opponent won the toss, so I'm not sure. Well... I hate it. I never like to say it's over, Fash. GG. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks seven woodies. He's just... He's going to have to risk the leap at some point. Leap for a 1D might be his best shot, unless it's something super rowdy. Uh, Woohoo no longer has to stall till turn 16. Can score at his leisure. That becomes a lot easier. I mean, when stalling for 16 turns, you start to get bogged down and tied up. 
you're never able yeah. to potato and then just in, run into score. Um, Movement nine wolf is, yeah. is always you know one in nine hand off to him. GG. Tackle is now off for the for the woodies. They're only going to have uh, four men backfield off the LOS. No reason for Woohoo to delay. It's his game to lose at this point. Absolutely. The only way I can see it failing is a like one in nine failed pickup into Wolf gets tied down, Blodger steals the ball, Wizard whiffs, and they don't power him. Yeah. Or Blitz even. Again, I don't really get this whole give a white to the tree thing. Me either. Because if you're going to do that, just make it a zombie. I don't mind giving a zombie to the tree. Oh, that's a shallow kick. A blitz there would have been pretty interesting though, wouldn't it? Well, it would have got the wizard. And now the wizard can be used for something a little more greedily. So when Holber does go in for the pressure don't or... don't even know if we're going to see it, Fash. We should see it. It'll happen. I think the first time he can use the wizard to get an easy touchdown. Well, to get a touchdown. To clear a blotch step off the ball. Or out of the way. It will be Turn used. one momentum wizard on the nah. uh, war dance, but... Madness. Uh, how, how does Holbert even threaten this ball? He's gonna Leave have to do the one That's dice. Yep. Yeah. And the move nine catcher is gonna get hunted down by the wolf. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? It's catcher hunting time. time. Throw a rock into dead ghoul would have indeed been interesting. I actually think at least if the Willies had received, it would have made quite the game of it. Yeah. Well, presumably... Where do you uh, think, it, where do you think it went wrong for Holber? Do you think he was like, you know, didn't commit to one play or the other? The wrong, yep. you know, it was sort of half style. If we ignore the time that there was the, the ghoul holding the ball just out in the open for no reason, or because he ran out of time, if we ignore that, it went, I would say it went wrong because of the half man's Putting some pressure on... Leaving enough of your opponent's players free to block away that pressure. And then get removed as a result. I think that's where it went wrong. Also, don't forget, you know, he had that 75% catch to, to break away in the first half. And he would have won the game there. Yeah, well, the, the turn 8 counter score, for sure. I don't understand this. Like, why are you not using the mighty blow? Never mind. Yeah, look, uh, you're right, though. If you're making LOS blocks, make the LOS blocks with Mighty Blow. I don't know what the White's doing there. Like, I, I, I... Maybe he wants someone on the tree and he wants it to be a White. Some YOLO here could give him a two dice on the ball, though. It's not even that YOLO. Look, tree blocks, tree blocks the White, Fash. And look at the gap between the Fleshy and Zombie number six. BA2 plus. That's just screaming, come into my back end and punish me. That's probably <laughs> poor, poor, poor choice of words, but you words know. Words I've I'm heard saying. you screaming. But no, quite right. You know, you're, you're five men up, Fash. You don't allow someone that play. Couldn't the mighty blow white? He could just be three squares down, completing the cage there. Yeah. I don't know, offensive setups may be something we could work on. I think just both players could benefit from doing less cocaine pre match. <laughs> So yeah, the movement nine guy only has to make. Oh no, you saved that guy for running away. Movement nine guy could have done that assist with no GFIs, yeah. and then you have him there, the sprint man, to do it. But fucking hell, like if he doesn't get punished for this, he's had eight dice on this goal. He has to re-roll this because he loses. That's that's cruel, Fash, in my opinion. It is. He's had, what... he's had eight eight dice on that goal, which is unforgivable at this level. 
Well, look, you gotta have Tackle and Russell somewhere on your team. I think outside of, I guess, an Orc team and maybe Mull's Dwarves, I think every other team has a Russell somewhere. And I guess Woohoo's Necro. <laughs> And that, that other Dark Elf that was uh, 1200 TV. Tell you what, players that were favourite to win matches at round one were players that had Wrestle Tackle. And more than one yep. of it. And it's for this exact reason. So yeah, when you give 8 dust on the ball, yeah, you probably should get powered. I think he did get powered eventually at some point. Yeah, he got powered in the recovered. first half and recovered, failed the score. But that did give Holber a really good opportunity to score himself, didn't it? Yeah. Because the potato pass attempt. The problem is, is now he's all man. He's just going to get smashed, maybe. Ooh. Block fleshies, how much do you love them? Well, it's not even doubles, though, is it? It's, it's not that impressive. I like having block on my flesh column. <laughs> <laughs> There's the pal on the war dancer oh, instead. Right. I, actually, I actually do feel for Holber a little bit here. You know, he's a bit of a madman, but he definitely, you know, he only needed a smidge of luck at certain points to run this game out, didn't he? Yep, the full blast to the catcher and the blocks on the ball. I don't um, like that. I think the, I think the goal's fine to blitz himself free there. The one in nine has the exact same outcome. Cool dodge. The quad skulls, you're not you're not playing around quad skulls, and it would have left the white upfield for some sort of screen. Absolutely. Then the white there's, on the tree no, also dodges no and makes it. Do a that screen. with the white, other okay. than to deliberately put your white out of position. Yep. Maybe Had the ghoul done it. Whatever. Run downfield behind the catcher. Wolf bangs the catcher for a stun. It's not even hard. It's not even turn. not even hard. If this. If this uh, catcher doesn't get armor broken now, it's not even hard to get another two dice on the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Is this the Dauntless Lad? It's not. Um, so you one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that helps. But still. Never mind, Fash. Imagine if the ghoul did the blitz and was roughly where the wolf is and the white was there screening him out. And then the white near the tree dodged and screened yeah. out the lodge lineman and be over next turn. It's done. Whoopsie. No, uh, okay. Yeah, it looked hard to reroll the final action dodge in the overtime, but when you're looking so good to score. But wouldn't you dodge the white first and then just leave the zombie on the tree to prevent the tree actually becoming relevant? True. Wow. That's what I was I'm just, just saying. Right, three elves to move and one tree. Made the dodges uh, better with the zombie coming across. So GFI, 2 plus, 3 plus with the reroll, 2 plus. Then a 4 plus with the reroll, 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus GFI. You can get 2 dice on the ball by rolling some dice that aren't worse than a 3. I think you should at this point. You're yeah, not going mean, to screen what, it. Yeah, what, like, what, what are you waiting for? Because like, I think what Wahoo will do is just take a 1 in 9 handoff to the wolf and just score. He's in range. I wouldn't even risk no. the one and nine handoff. I, I, at this point, I don't think I would need no, to. No, no, no. You, if it was me. You would. Oh boy. Would, I would never. You wouldn't risk the one and nine handoff, Fash. No, no. We're strolling down the field. But yes, he could. If he put every single open unmarked player around the wolf and then handed off to the wolf, he might even risk it. Who knows? Eight out of nine times, you win the game. But if you're the Wood Elves, and you've got no players, you kind of have to go for the ball, don't you? Because yep. You're not screening, you're not no. preventing movement. Uh, it's a pretty unfortunate time for a double one. I think he was going for the Dauntless here on the Wolf there. Fair enough, 4 3 so he, two definitely, he definitely wasn't getting anything done with that double one. Now we will see the extent of the madness. Not 
He's not doing it, Fash. Unless he could run to the end zone now. Nah. Or... <laughs> I feel like he should. Shemi, is that the dirty player that came to assist rather than rather than a, He's got no bribe any now. other zombie? Yeah, not, but not I probably still has. would. You're five men up, just thousand yeah. hits. Oh, look at this! Safe progression down the field. No janky handoffs. Why? But why now? I don't know. The, the, I think the, the goal could have gone out. further, couldn't it? Did the goal only go four? Yeah, but he's he's limited by the zombies. Yeah, but they could have all made a, a zombie wall. Well, careful. We've got some Americans watching, and walls are quite a sensitive subject. Are they? I'd the wall to the wood elves out. I need, I'd this dancer, actually. I don't even care. Yep, Dance is a bigger strat to taking the ball, I guess, with three strength loop. I think you get something, yeah, Fash? Maybe. Just a stun. Just a stun, mate. I kind of wish I never discovered the player card uh, UI thing, because... Yeah? A, it kind of spoils half of the suspense. And B, it causes my chat every time I do it to say your audio's out of sync. Like it's not. I'm just reading the player card ahead of time. Guard actually in a relevant position here. Didn't multi block. Actually went for the hit on the fleshy to free. Oh, I supposedly to free up his um, catcher. Seems fair enough. Yeah, no, look, I think he's just right-clicking the ball at this point. Well, the guard guy's actually really well positioned for Woohoo, isn't he? Yeah. So, it's two die up, which, if you were wrestle tackle, wouldn't be as bad. It's still pretty unlikely, isn't it? What is it, 25%? One dice? No. Okay. Knocking the zombie down. Yeah, look, could have been a scoring range with the ghoul. If he just moved seven squares the previous turn. Now not in scoring yeah. range, so still has some elves to deal with. But not only that, he, uh, he can't trundle too far away from his security team. It's true. The white, the, uh, the flipping wolf isn't going anywhere either. And there's still the leap play if he doesn't take care of the war dancer again this turn. Huh, okay. <laughs> One square gain this turn. Oh man. Mighty blow, power, and the kicker. Wow, third death for the Wood Elves. They really have fallen apart. Triple yeah. kill! It's about time he'd been unscathed with 11 men for quite some time. It's GFI, though, to get his cage here. I wouldn't even do it. If they'll see the dirty player on the zombie, uh, other zombie stands to the only catcher. We need an assist for the catcher actually, or an assist cancelled. Um, I mean he'll probably just one die. He's got three rerolls. Even one dice in the blood is not that bad. Just stand this guy. True. Uh, he could. Could use his dirty player, but I honestly think he should foul the war dancer with 100% should foul the war dancer. Um, I honestly might foul before I take the one dice, don't know. Yep. Now, uh, one dice is pretty reliable. Oh no, Fash. Oh no. Oh boy, spoiling it for me. The satisfying crunch. 
Man. The Wood Elves look like they were in it when their tree had a blind in first half, but they've got taken to pieces. Down seven. Fielding four now. Tree not giving up though. He's not he's not willing to concede defeat yet. He says this one is for my teammates. Fleshy's having none of that, says no. How would you Yeah, how would you type the death sound? Crunch. Phonetically. Wanna just be the word crunch? It's a really satisfying crunch. Or if you wanted to actually just type the sound, which is I guess what you meant by typing phonetically, I guess it would be... Uh, zing... Crunch. Because <laughs> there's that little, you know... Zing sound. Can I just go through my emotions? I don't really yeah. know. I'm trying. I'm trying to think. I mean, the other thing too, which we might need to think about, is while he has been safe, I guess, if you've got the capacity to score and win the game for an insignificant risk, I think you should do that rather than making one square of movement over the course of five turns for five turns. <laughs> Baby's farming SPP. Maybe things I'll pitch clear them and do some passes. Win on penalty kicks with the plus three. Like even if even if Holber miraculously stopped him, it's three rerolls to zero. Yeah. And we know how those rerolls work in the uh, penalty shootout. Thought we were gonna see another one there. Was that the Dauntless guy? I mean that's still not even that bad, is it? I mean, there's no excuse to not even have like an, a, a six-man cage here. Just be super safe, Ash. Yep, one in 36s do happen, and if they happen on red die blocks of pals, <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't red die. I know he had the guard there as well. So Dauntless was somewhat irrelevant, wasn't it? Begs the question though, why didn't he come from the bottom? Yeah, no, he knows it's golden goal. He played overtime against me. Did he score though? I don't think he scored. Maybe he doesn't know. Wouldn't be the first time. Someone didn't know about golden goal. Well, he goal. wasn't in scoring. We'll see next turn, won't we? Because he wasn't in scoring range. True, true. And is he worried about the one from from four elves, or three elves and a tree? Probably, actually. That can probably still be done. But it does look like Woohoo Boy is going through to the grand final of season three with his Necromantic. They've been beat and they've been bruised, but you couldn't keep them down, Fash. No, many, many, <laughs> many tried, and they were not favoured to win any of the matches they played, barring this one, which no one suspected. Every oh pick, every analysis, every bit of betting. If he, runs in, if he ends betting. up in the final with large thud and the Cavs carry on for both teams the way they have, I don't think there'll be any players left at the end to pick the trophy up. So there we go. Wahoo Boy simply needs to click on his goal, click on the end zone, and Slime Stalker, niggling injury and all, will take his team to the finals. It's been good though. He's held the ball for most, you know, he's done his job of holding the ball, hasn't he? And not getting powered, most importantly. Lightning bolt on the tree for oh. good manners at the end. Love it. Double six on the armor as well. No sweat over time. Hot diggity damn. Well. Wow. Woohoo playing the winner of Large Thud and Ringtail. Another match that could go either way. Fash, that definitely was a match of Blood Bowl. Well, they, they did physically play Blood Bowl. That, that was a Blood Bowl match, and yes. the dice were rolled. And there was a winner. That winner is Wahoo Boy. He will go through. Um, you know, we, 
we can't be too unkind. He is in the grand final of season three. I think, you know, both K coaches made some mistakes in that game. There was some risky play. But yeah, generally, look, the Wood Elves did armor seven things. Yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, the block dies don't show us uh, 1D counts, and... Look, the blocks are actually surprisingly even. They, the Woodies did throw 40 blocks to the Necro 54. Uh, so he's definitely playing, uh, you know, some form of base contact. But yeah, look, I just think he needs to either go go all mans or or no mans and safely screen. I think that's really what let him down. And look at the turn yeah. turn nine OTT, the the tree yeah, with a stellar run of Kaz. Absolutely ridiculous. A two man deficit, right? One tackler on the field, and your own tackler still in play. Like you see, so you could you could pick off the wolf with a bit of luck. Um, yeah, the the one turn was just madness. Couldn't if believe he was it. One, if, if he was one, nil, if he was one nil up, fine. Go, I I love it. I love the balls. I yeah, love definitely. it. Yeah, definitely. You'd have made that. And and you can't forget that Holber was that he was pretty much that catch and two two GFIs away from taking that one nil half time lead. So he did a good job of shutting down the first half, didn't he? Yeah, similarly the Woohoo scoring play was fifty percent. Don't worry, I'm going to sleep, don't worry. We had okay, so we had Wiggles, Raging Sag, JT Gam, Lowenhurt, 